to this week's edition of the Soliday Scoop. I'm your host, Caleb Soliday. In world news this week, we have that JCPenney announces that they're closing 154 of their stores. That Trump accuses the NFL of being disrespectful to our country and our flag after openly coming on air saying they were wrong not to support players like Colin Kaepernick in the battle against racism. That a oh, million dollars in treasure was found in the Rocky Mountains. It was headed 10 years ago and was just found 2020. That New York begins opening after being shut down due to the coronavirus. New York is officially in phase one of reopening. Now over to Ike with some facts. Thanks, Caleb. Folks, this week's facts involve around flags because this Sunday is Flag Day. Uh, we're going down a timeline here, so we're going to start way back in 1717 on June 14th when the Second Continental Congress took a break from writing the Articles of Confederation and passed a resolution stating the flag of the United States be 13 striped, alternate red and white, union be 13 stars white in a blue field. Now later down the timeline in 1916, President Wiljo Wilson marked the anniversary by officially establishing June 14th as Flag Day. Okay, now way later in the 1950s when it was certain that Alaska would soon be admitted to the Union. Designers began retooling the American flag to add a 49th star. While they were retooling the American flag, adding the 49th star, in Ohio, a 17-year-old named Bob Heff borrowed his mom's sewing machine, disassembled his family's 48-star flag, stitched on 50 stars, turned it into his history teacher for a project saying Hawaii would soon achieve statehood and he also sent a copy of the flag to his local congressman who showed it to President Eisenhower and then way later in 1960 on July 4th when the flag with 50 stars was raised for the first time Hef got to stand right next to President Eisenhower and his history teacher changed his grade to an A and thanks to our fans for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe as always so you can stay updated when next week's edition of the Solid Ice Scoop is uploaded all right it's the last episode of Fuller House. I can't believe all my shows are ending. First Modern Family, then Arrow, and then Zoo. Now Fuller House. Dancing to the intro. For the last time although I'm probably going to recreate this intro for the solid day scoop but dance to the intro for the last time here we go Thank you.